How's it going guys? Welcome to the FM Dugout for episode 3 of the Restoration Project Rangers. So last time round we opened up the league campaign with a comprehensive 5-1 win over St Mirren and I'm pleased to say that that good form has continued. As you can see from the league table we are 7 wins from 7 with plus 18 goal difference. Uh, 3 points clear of Morton surprisingly and you know St Mirren have managed to recover a little bit What's notable here though is Hibs on 11 points and they're 10 points behind us, um, which is really good I think for our promotion chances. We haven't yet played Morton so I think that's coming up after today's game. Now I was going to do a live comp against Hibs, however we've drawn away to Dundee United in the League Cup third round so I think that's a big enough game to cover. So. Things are going very well for us at the moment. Um, the transfer window closed and we made one additional signing, which was Jay Fulton on loan from Swansea. Not paying anything for his wages. I think he's a fantastic uh, midfielder. Really will help um, sort of bolster that midfield because we lost Will Volks to injury. He's back now, um, but I just feel you know it gives us a few more options. So really pleased with that. Nobody left the club. Um, so the squad is pretty much the same as last time round. In terms of the fixtures, just briefly, um, yeah, we've won every single game. However, um, you can see, and it's much like what happened in real life, um, very convincing. You know, the first four games there, um, we scored a total of 18 goals in four games and conceded two. Then we started to struggle against some of the teams you would deem to be smaller. Um just sitting in behind the ball and can't really create the chances um, to, to take the game by the scruff of the neck and, and you know score three, four, five goals. So it's interesting to see it has gone the same way as real life. But, you know, we've won every game that we have played so far this season in the competitive side of things. So I think it puts us in good stead for today's game against Dundee United and... I'm going to jump straight into this uh, to keep this episode short as possible. Um, so I have actually adopted um, this formation here now. Um, I've, I've gone to playing a, a defensive midfielder, well actually an anchor man, um, which maybe isn't really the best thing to do. Probably better to have it as a defensive midfielder rather than an anchor man. I don't think we need to be quite so defensive. Um, and yeah, th this is how our team is, is lining up. Um, I don't actually think I've got any changes to make. I've already kind of re-reviewed following the last game because I've been playing two teams um, pretty much. So I, I, I will swap like Tavernier out for Boer. I'll swap out Wallace for Chandler. I'll give Kiernan a goal instead of one of the other centre-backs to give him a bit of a break. Um, it kind of keeps the squad fresh. I did actually try to sign another striker in the window um, while well, it was on loan. Uh, Paul Onuachu from, actually I'll show you my short list here. I tried to sign this bloke from FC Midtjylland. I, I never know how to pronounce that. Any Scandinavian people watching that can correct me, please let me know. I thought he was going to be um, a really good addition to the squad, a different type of player to what we have. Um, but he wasn't able to get a work permit so he didn't sign on loan um, anyway it's left us with what we have um, Ryan Hardy has really struggled up front that's one thing I've noticed so in the January window I will be looking to revisit the striking options um, but let's see how we can get on today Dundee United obviously a Scottish Premiership side we'll see whether or not we can take a scalp and get through to the quarter-final which is uh, our, our kind of minimum objective for this trophy uh, close down the goalkeeper as well um, hmm. just the usual I think boys don't really want to hype this game up more than it needs to be I think we could win this and turn my speed down again if you don't like the speed of the game, just say I can I can make it quicker, I can make it slower. Um, I think this is probably just about right. Allows me to call out some of the names anyway. Um, so here we are with an early chance, four minutes in, into the box. 
Danny Wilson nearly scoring. Kawashima with the save. So a Japanese goalkeeper for Dundee United. And we're going to have to defend well here. And not give away a penalty. Hopefully if he gets into that box. It's whipped across and we're 1-0 down 8 minutes in. So the usual. Start the game more positively and then go down 1-0. So we've got our work cut out for us today lads. I'm not going to panic and change the formation because I do think it's the right one. I'm actually just seeing that they're playing exactly the same formation. So um, it will just be a straight up uh, sort of comparison of players really. Um, and I would have hoped that we would have been better. But we seem to be getting dragged out of position a fair bit. Dow getting a lot of space. Fothering them with the save and we scramble it away. Can we get a chance on the break here? Not got enough men forward. Volks will try to get there, but Durnham beats him to it. Dundee United looking rather comfortable at the moment. A chance here from the corner. Barry Mackay whips it in. Only as far as Waghorn. Holt from the penalty spot. Not a penalty though, but good finish. Gets us back in the game nice and early. Still in the first quarter of the game. So, it's one of the things that I've, I've kind of noticed is there's two ways you can go about playing here. You can either try and go attacking and, oh dear, uh, <laughs> nearly scored. You can either go attacking in, in games, um, certainly against the smaller teams that are sitting back a bit more, and you'll get a large number of shots at goal, but you're open to counter-attack. Or you can sit with the formation that I've got today, which seems a safer option, <laughs> nearly a spectacular goal there. Um, so it's, it's kind of difficult you're in um, a strange situation I start the game with what I am at the moment and you know midway through the second half that's when I'll make the changes and you'll have seen from the ticker um, at the bottom some of the results we've had Martin Waghorn has come off the bench to score uh, two goals late on so we've made half time and a few players underperforming um, certainly on the wings not doing particularly well um, I want to say I'm not pleased uh, I don't like the fact we've got some complacency some of the areas have been playing well um, I'm going to actually go with something a bit more positive um, see Wacorn's not playing badly but yeah I'll tell Omar Rowe I'm not happy with him because I'm not and I'll tell Lee Wallace I'm not happy with him. It's the sort of reaction I was looking for. I'm just going to take a quick look at the team instructions here. Um, see if there's anything we can do. I suppose retain possession is one of the things that you can do. Take it off to potentially speed things up a little bit. Um, try it I guess. I don't really want to be wasteful in possession, but I just feel we're not moving up the park quickly enough. So we'll see how that goes. I mean, certainly in terms of the stats, it's a pretty even game. We're just looking for that little bit of class to allow us to take the lead and, and try and hold on from there. Um, Barry Mackay, Omar Rowe, really struggling in these wide positions, especially Rowe. Um, you would have seen again in the ticker, he got player of the month, and this certainly isn't the sort of form that won him that. Um, I don't... Hmm. I'm going to play Nicky Law there. I really want to bring on Skov. He's He's been excellent for us. But at the moment, I just feel Volks has given us that sort of stability by a playing in that defensive midfield position so we'll maybe go with this for another 10 minutes or so and we'll see where we are from there I might change to use the attacking midfielder but the thing is going with an attacking midfielder they'll be head to head with their defensive midfielder John Suter um, yeah we're just not creating the chances and th this is the problem you get the stability with that defensive midfielder and um, you sacrifice creating good chances 
So I think what we'll go for is we'll stick Vox up here. We'll set we'll set Fulton to be a ball winning midfielder, and we'll take Vox off for Skov. And there's no much point in taking Lee Wallace off. I don't think. Yeah, I think I'll just go with this and see how we can shake things up a little bit by going a bit more attacking. Skov has been really good. Alan Stubbs, before the, the game with Hibbs, had slagged them off saying he was the weakest link. Skov then got man of the match and scored a goal, so um, he definitely has it in him. And Dundee United now, right in the last minute, a chance from a corner, off the crossbar. <sighs> Lived very dangerously there. I'm not sure if this one goes to a replay or extra time. I guess we'll find out in a minute. If Dundee United don't snatch a last minute winner, um, which they nearly did, well saved by fathering them there. We've not played too badly, um, just haven't really created chances and the only thing that's worrying me a little bit is the condition of a lot of players here and they might be tiring out, but then again I guess Dundee United will be in a similar position. And it looks as though we're going to reach full time here. End of 90 minutes, so we get extra time. And... <clears throat> uh, hmm. Let's go with that. Well, that looks to have gone down well. <laughs> Dundee United certainly have created a lot of chances, and... Good start. Um... I, th I think we just had to make that, that change to go with an attacking midfield. I've not really seen Skov on the ball as such. Um, he's playing 6.8, so he's doing better than Nicky Lott. We're, we're struggling in the wide positions today. Just really haven't had the, the same kind of penetration from the wide areas as we normally do. Um, and here's Law to Holt. Wide to Wallace at the byline. Cuts it into Law. It's a nice move. Nicky Lott to the back post. And Mackay, is he offside? No, he's not. So, we take the lead in extra time now. And now we just got to try and hold on to it. I don't want to go to counter or control. I sometimes think going that way just invites the other team on and you can get yourselves into more bother. Dundee United will have to push forward, which will mean there'll be more space if they do. So, sticking with the sort of attacking mentality means that we should get more chances now and can maybe hit them and get a third. Now Law, if he just looked over, he would have seen Wallace in acres of space in the left there. Mackay whips it across the goal. And we're not going to get a chance here, I don't think. Fulton picks it up. Wide to Tavernier. Nice ball, if he can keep it in, he does. Back to Mackay. Cuts it back to Skov. Skov with a shot. Lovely finish from the Danish under-21 player. Actually, I don't think he is under 21. I think he's under 19 still. He hasn't made that transition, but really making a, a good impact coming off the bench. And Nicky Law as well um, with an assist. So we're three run up, half time of extra time. And we'll see if we can just ride this one out now. I don't think you could really argue that we didn't deserve to win the game. We have had the same number of shots and goal, had more possession, had more corners. Um, Pass completion was better. Tackles won not. Yeah, so we're not beating them in the physical department, but in the technical department we are. And that should be us now. 120 minutes on the clock. Job done. Quarter-final position waiting for us. Of course, Celtic tonight are also playing Airdrie in the competition. And if they go through, we could potentially be playing them in the next round, which will be... Obviously, a live com game, if we can get it. Skov now. Can we get a goal just before full time? I don't think so. I think it's just round down the clock now. We'll definitely have to rotate the team for next week. Uh, there'll be a lot of tired legs out there. But that was that was a good performance in the end. Um, yeah. So, morale very good as well. I mean, you'd expect it with a winning run like what we've had. Um... Jason Holt, man of the match, 11 key passes, 77 pass completion ratio. Celtic have won 2-0, so we will see who will face 
Um, I'm not sure when when's the draw made actually for it. Um, and we find out. I never really look that far ahead with these things, so um, there's other teams I think due to play tonight. There you go. Twenty twenty fourth was that or twenty fifth? So we'll just continue on, so you guys can see who we get, and I can decide whether or not to do that as the next live com. Uh, don't want him. Not interested. Okay, so here we go, boys. Let's take a look. So, do we want Hibs? Well, yes, probably. So, in Edinburgh Derby now in the quarterfinal. And we don't get Celtic. Will we get Aberdeen? No. So, it's St. Johnston at Ibrox. Um, not sure whether I'll do a live call of that game. I might do. Um, when does it take place? Down here. No, I think I'll probably stick with the Hibs game in the league. Um, the League Cup, we've we've met our... Um, our expectations so if I get through that and we play Celtic in the semi or whatever then I'll do a live con for that so hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode and um, we've made it through to the quarterfinal of the League Cup things are going nice and smooth for Rangers at the moment however things have taken a bit of a slump from the early season form so tune in for the next episode to see whether or not we've managed to maintain our 100% record in the league if you like this video, leave a like and a comment. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until the next time, I'll see you when I see you.